I'm gonna show you a car camping trick that uses this. That's right, a thing made for pets in the back of your car. So like I said in the intro, this is a pet hammock. And interestingly enough, it's meant to like create an area for your pet to lay, but it could also support a mattress when you're camping. Let me show you how we use it in our current car camping setup. So like normal with any car camping setup, we first have to create our surface to work off of by lowering the back seats down. And then we always push our front seats forward just so we have the most amount of sleeping space. So when we're setting up the car camping setup, we hook this around the seats like normal, but then we take the part that usually goes around the back seat. And my, car's, my car has a little clip back here that we actually hook these to. So you can see there's a little clip here and then we've attached a carabiner to this part that usually loops around. You could also, if the buckle was small enough or if you had a different attachment point, feed this through there. It's a little too big for us, so that didn't work, which is why we're using a carabiner. And that hooks around right there. So now you can see we have an extended platform. If you have a car that's not long enough for a mattress like mine is, this could be a potentially a solution for you. This is one of three options, I'd say. You could either stuff a bunch of stuff down there and put the mattress on top of it. You could build a platform like I used to have, or you could use some kind of support like this. Now for extra added security, I usually take this flap on the side of the hammock and tuck it underneath the seat that's folded down. Yeah. So as you can see now, where our mattress could now normally only usually go up to here, we can put it all the way forward for our setup. And it actually supports us really well. You know, I was once worried about the stability of this thing, but it's not budging at all and it's holding this whole mattress up. We haven't had any issues using it for the probably past four camping trips. So this has worked really well. I don't usually ever put my full weight onto here because that might make it sag. But as I'm sleeping at night with a pillow, never had any issues. Hope you got some value out of this video and see how easy it is to create a simple car camping setup. I'll of course link the product down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.